first website that I evaluated was the Bluckley County Schools webpage. Um, and it all, all of the pages within this site um, had a good, nice, uniform look to them. Um, the pages all had a nice um, header and a footer with contact information. Um, they all had good navigation bars that had um, a link back to the home page, except it was called District instead of um, Home. And um, this was something that I thought was pretty easily understandable. Um, one thing that did differ throughout the school's websites, the web pages uh, for the different schools, was the um, change of the font. Um, there were a few of the schools that had a little bit of a different font, as you can see here. And I don't think that that took anything away from the design of the websites. Um, the content for each page was very consistent, even though. Um, the font might be a little bit different. It had still a lot of the same links. Um, one thing that would um, that I noticed that was a little bit of a problem was one of the links called the Faculty Expansion Program. Um, you click on it and there's nothing there. Um, this was really the only link that I found that didn't have anything really to go with it. Um, the only thing different that I might say is that maybe throughout the schools the links on the left hand side would maybe be a little bit more of the same. But overall I gave this um, website a 5. The next site that I visited was the Oregon School District which is actually in Wisconsin and not in Oregon. And um, this had a very good basic design. All of the pages within the site look very similar. Um, they have a nice header and a footer. And um, the navigation bar is very easily accessed. Um, the information is a very, in a very clear design. Um, and the contact information is present um, for each school page. And um, each school page also had nice on the left hand side um, it says links. In the middle it was always the school news and on the right was always upcoming events and that's one thing that I really thought was very nice. Um, so no matter what school you went to you knew where to find the information. Um, notice up at the top there were the elementary schools listed at the top. You had to click on the picture to get to them which I thought was a little odd but overall this was also a five. The next school district that I looked at was the Twiggs County School District, um, also here in Georgia. And it has um, two navigation bars. It does have um, a header, and it also did have a footer. Um, and the content inform contact information is present. Um, but there were some problems within the site. Um, some of the, there was an empty link. Um, when you click on the schools and the pre-K, it didn't go anywhere. So that was one problem that I found. Um, and then when you click on the elementary school, it takes you to a whole different site almost. You you go, you go leave the main site and that home button that you see point with the arrow pointed to it doesn't take you back to the district home. It takes you back to this page. So anywhere you go within that site, it takes you back to this original page. To get back to the district site, you have to actually go back with the back arrow. So overall though I gave that one um, a 4. The informational site that I started with was the EnchantedLearning.com and um, as you can see the header is actually smaller and um, less obvious than the ad that's listed at the top of the page so that's one thing that I think could be improved on this site. Um, but it does have a header and it has a footer um, and the navigation bar I really like. Um, I like the different colors of it and it stays throughout this site. That same navigation bar stays there. Um, one thing that I really liked about this site is the site index. You could click on that tab and it took you, it shows you A to Z everything that you can find within that site and um, that's one thing that I really really liked about this um, website in particular. Um, one thing that did not link back to the home page was the member login. That's the only one that didn't lo go back. Um, overall, I gave that one a five. Um, the next one is the mathisfun.com. It has a nice header and it had a nice footer also with a navigation bar that was very clear, contact information that was clear, um, and 
I like how um, it's very visual. You can click through the different pictures on this home page to get to the different um, parts of the website also. And I really enjoyed that part. Um, one page that was really fun um, and very informational and very would be very useful to students is this dictionary, this A to Z dictionary. You can click on any letter and it gives you a list of math terms. Um, and you can click on those math terms and they give you an illustration. It gives you an easy to understand definition and it gives you uh, a place where you can find more information about that particular uh, math concept. So overall, I gave that one a five. Now my last one coming up, whoa, I tell you, it's a humdinger there, lingscars.com. You can't, this picture does not do it justice when you first click on the website. It is music, loud, loud music, things dancing around. It has all the pieces that it needs, but you can hardly find them with all of the stuff that's going on. Um, it's just so, there's things moving around, there's things um jumping out there's um, in fact the next slide there's a chicken here that actually walked back and forth um, on this page um, this is one of the footers within one of the pages and it does again the picture doesn't do justice because Ling's page um, her actual face bounces around the entire time you're scrolling over this um, and then the next slide you see the actual footer that's on the home page and it doesn't give contact information I could never find any contact information on this website um, her Twitter feed was there but no direct contact information um, this actual footer was about how to lease and what it meant to lease a car so um, overall I gave this one and I'm being nice giving it a two um, so I'll leave you with that Thank you very much.